Hello all. We're starting square roots now, but before we start, I want to introduce you to some concepts. The first one is how to divide a number by two in place. So I'm going to set up our number 78 and try to take half of it without dividing. So we're going to do this by taking half of each number. Half of 7 is 3, but with 1 left over. So when we move on, we're not going to take half of 8. We're going to take half of 18 because we had that 1 left over. Half of 18 is 9, and we're done. Half of 78 is 39. Let's try another one. What's 9,175 divided by 2? 9,175. So we take half of 9, it's 4 with 1 left over. Since we had that 1 left over from here, we're going to take half of 11. Half of 11 is 5 with 1 left over. So now we take half of 17, it's 8 with 1 left over. Half of 15, 7 with 1 left over. And then half of 10 is 5. And we got it. Half of 9,175 is 4,587.5. One, uh, another example, what's half of 392? Half of 3 is 1, with 1 left over. So we take half of 19. It's 9, with 1 left over. And now we take half of 12, which is 6. And we got it. Half of 392 is 196. Another one. Half of 63,047. 63, Half of 6, 3. Half of 3, 1, with 1 left over. So we take half of 10 now, 5. Half of 4, 2. Half of 7, 3 with 1 left over. Half of 10, 5. So half of this number is 31,523.5. One more. What's half of 33,672? 33,672. Half of 3, 1 with 1 left over. Half of 13, 6, with 1 left over. Half of 16, 8. Half of 7, 3, with 1 left over. So half of 12 is 6. And we got it. Half of 33,672 is 16,836. The next concept. What is half of a number squared? So you need to remember this as we're do taking square roots. Half of 1 squared is 0.5. 2 squared is 4. And half of 2 squared is 2. Half of 3 squared is 4.5. And so on. Half of 4 squared is 8. Half of 5 squared, 12.5. Half of 8 squared, 32, and so on. So you'll learn these, but for now, if you want to write these down and keep them with you, we'll use these while we take square roots. And the last concept we need before we take square roots is this. We're only going to take square roots if a number is between 1 and 100. Well, what if we want to take a, the square root of a number that's not in there? Let's, let's look at these. I'll show you what I mean. What if we want to take the square root of 193? Well, we move the decimal two at a time. So we move it over twice. And we'll instead take the number 1.93 square root. And then after we do our work and get the square root, we'll move it back once. So we go two at a time to start and then move it back once. And we'll do examples. 
so you'll see exactly what I mean. What if we want the square root of 0 0.41? Well, we move the decimal two times and take the square root of 41 instead. What if we want the square root of 7019? We move the decimal point over twice and take the square root of 70.19 instead. And after we do the work and get that square root, we'll move the decimal point back. 1,297, nope. We're going to take the square root of 12.97. The square root of 0 0.0506, no. We'll take the square root of 5.06 instead. The square root of 35,857, two at a time, we're going to take the square root of 3.5857 instead. And then we'll correct that after we do our work. 9,022, no, we'll take the square root of 90.22 instead. The square root of 785,164, no, we'll take the square root of 78.5164 instead. And after we do our work, get the square root of 78, then we'll adjust the decimal point to make it right. So those are the three concepts we need to take square roots. And as we do them, we'll do lots of examples and you'll see just why these are so important. Thank you.